Welcome to tonight's broadcast. Now, the official match was decided off stream due to some absences, you could say, but we are still bringing you a for fun series tonight. And so, for casters, you have myself, Sarasthams, and I am joined by Mr. Bepic. Now, both these teams were 1 0 coming into the week, and I believe Kettering has picked up the win in the official standings. But, Bepic, how are you doing? What are you. What are you expecting from this for fun series? Doing well. I'm expecting some fun. I'm going to tell our producer to just throw it to gameplay. You guys don't have to watch me talk. I'd rather you watch some Rocket League, which is what we all came to do. A bunch of delays happened and, and figuring out who was going to be showing up and playing. But we have rosters. We've got two three man squads on the field right now, Syro. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. Yes, at the end of the day, we get to see some Rocket League action, and you're here for it, I'm here for it, and the audience is here for it as yeah. well. And so far, it's already Kettering University that's up one nothing in this best of seven series. So, so far it seems to be going in favor of Kettering in the opening minute and a half. Ooh, and it was Vinny earlier that scored the opener, trying to set up a second right here, and they will have it, Kettering. We'll put in there second by way of Haxer, but the play started again by Vinny. Just stretched the defense apart, a couple of misses, and that's about as open as it gets. Yes, I agree with you there. As open as it gets. So now it's up to Universal Gaming to respond back to see if they can close this uh, goal lead, but that's uh -oh. an open net shot right there for Fusion, who finds the third goal head goal for Kettering. Not sure what happened right there with the kickoff. It looked like someone went for boost. They should have been going for ball. I, I, well, we'll move past it, but Kettering have built themselves a sizable lead. It appears that 
all three members of, uh, of Kettering are still here and playing. So I think this is their normal roster. That was 1-0 coming into this week, playing against a, a team playing with um, a, bit of a, a bit of a sub, I assume. I don't know the full roster situations, but I'm going to figure this is not the normal uh, universal gaming roster. Yes. Regardless, they should show up. There's some talented players in this Division B game right now. And so... You know, we're almost halfway through it, and it is universal with a deep clear, but that's picked up by Haxer, who puts it over to Vinry nicely into the corner, and they're trying to transition out, but a little bit of missed ball handling there, and it's an opportunity for Universal. But great demo on the backfield by Vinny there. That was nice back check to stump the offense of Universal Gaming. Now a couple of pre-jumpers. He's in, he gets the uh, gets the dunk. But doesn't really lead to anything. The offensive onslaught that was going on to begin this game one has subsided just a touch. And finally, Universal Gaming have found some footing in the offensive end. A mistake there may grant some more possession, but that's unfortunately a, a miss from Sora. So backing off now is Universal Gaming now to, to contend with Vinny and Kettering once more. But Vinny with a great four check right now, keeping possession of the ball as Fusion slots that one in nicely. Beautiful setup again. It's Vinny in the middle of the play, mixing it up, and a simple pop off of that double commit read sets his teammate up quite nicely. Kettering just looks to be the the more powerful of the two offensively, and I think the eight shots to one stat line kind of shows that. Yes, I definitely agree with you there as well. And unfortunately, Fusion quite isn't living up to his nameplate because with a goal like that, he's definitely not a tactical whipper as far as I can tell. <laughs> well, unfortunately, those, uh, those titles below are misleading on occasion. Uh, you know, some people have bot underneath their name like me. That one's not misleading, but, you know, tactical whipper and just might be, although double commit, is there a double committer title in this game? I, I don't recall. Well, if everyone had that title, then it would be true. <laughs> there are way too many double commits that we see in some of these matches. But it's Haxer with an opportunity here as he looks for cross. He finds Vinny, but Vinny is stuffed by Sora. Great defense out of Universal Gaming there, but Vinny is still looking for that offensive opportunity. He puts it high, trying to drop it down. Now it's Fusion looking for it, but it's Universal keeping this ball high, keeping it in the air. And Haxer is the one to step up, fly and high to make that touch. Vinny, he's going to find this one, and that will be the fifth goal for Kettering University. I think it might be safe to say that Kettering has this one under control. If you're Universal Gaming, you've got to figure out how to clean up the defensive errors, the mispositionings, the misreads, the double commits that we were just talking about. It's giving way too much space to Kettering to work with, and they have shown us so far that they deserve some uh, some respect that is given by making solid touches defensively and it turns into clears. That's a beautiful play right there. Exactly what I'm talking about. If you have more of that in defense, Universal Gaming will find more on offense. Yeah, it's not Sora not quite reading the ball right there. And there's three Universal members in that corner there as well. Good far check by Kettering. Keeps the ball deep in that back left corner. Now, Eidischick? Yeah, I'll go with Eidischick there. But that's broken up by Vinny. But just ASP is up for that one. And that's on target, but Fusion's back for the save as well. So now Kettering trying to transition out. But really just a soft clear, and that gets picked up in the midfield as well. And so with the dying 10 seconds, I would like to see Universal get on the scoreboard. But I think Kettering will have a shutout. Looking like that with the ball in the blue half. But sometimes teams let their guard down on zero seconds. Oh, I was hoping the ball would stay up. We still we had a long zero second play last week with a... Players just would not set it down, and this time, not the case, at least in game one. Kettering, 12 shots to two, kind of sums it up. Five goals, zero. I, I don't know if there's too much analysis more that we can do, Cyro. Universal Gaming just has to clean it up in defense. Yeah, I agree with you there that Universal Gaming, they, they couldn't get any offensive opportunities because they were always in their own mm -hmm. zone, and Kettering was just an offensive powerhouse this match. We saw it with the 12 shots. I, I had to count there to be sure, but it was yep. 12 offensive shots leading to five goals. That is quite the offensive momentum that they were able to build for themselves. And as we've both agreed now, Universal Gaming just needs a solid defense. Even if it is just getting end-to-end -end clears, that's at least something, and it gets them out of their own zone. 
Yeah, Boomin clears a uh, baby step and route to some more offense. We'll see if they can do it. That's a bit of a misread there, but recovered by just ASP. No teammate waiting for that pass. Good bump on Vinny to keep him out of the plate for now as he quickly zips right back into it. Don't uncharacteristic mystery, at least from what I've seen in uh, the first five minutes of this series. Kettering haven't yet established themselves in offense. 30 seconds in and a missing Ooh. defense could open a door, but it's going to be slammed shut by Fusion and it will escape. But that is a shot on net and this looks to be a second shot forcing the save out of Vinny as well. So, it is actually Universal Gaming finding some open air and open space to get oh. their shots through. Now, they're not quite being a deadly threat, but still, they're finding something right now. And a good clear there, but that's going to be on that bit off the post there. So, Fusion was close, and that seems to be the story of this game with a lot of posts and crossbars so far. Oh, Vinny being a nuisance there, harassing the defense on the back wall and grabs a corner boost. I hate that when you're just inches away, your nose, you feel like it's just in front of your opponent and they steal your boost anyway. It's a pain for Universal Gaming at the moment. Vinny has certainly been the thorn in the side for them throughout game one and now into game two, but no goals so far. It's a double commit right there. Open up chance for Vinny here. Puts it just short and the follow up not there in time. Kettering starting to get more possession though and that is not good news for Universal Gaming fans. Yes, yeah, so they stumbled early on, but this time around, they are definitely doing much better. And I, I gotta say, Kettering yeah, has stumbled, doing better, but really Universal Gaming are starting to find the opportunities. They had a chance there, but not a strong enough cross to get on net or get it over to a teammate. So a little bit more opportunity, a little bit more time, and they can definitely work something out there. But with two men back on defense, Kettering, they don't see any threats coming their way anytime soon. No, it's them delivering the threat. It's inside a chick making the save. Fusion, the rebound attempt, got two up. That'll open up some space for Haxer off the back wall and nothing doing. Good survival instincts by the defense. They turn it into transition offense. In comes the follow up and it's good. It just is. underneath the crossbar, just in front of Fusion's car. 1 0 Universal Gaming. Yes, and that came from an almost a booming clear because it was a long shot off the crossbar, underside of it, it was close right off the bat or get go there, and then the follow up was there as well. And this is actually Universal Gaming with a 1 0 lead so far. They've managed to keep Kettering scoreless considering how offensively omnipotent they were in the first match. Perhaps it just took a game to get it together, but as I say that, Haxer has a complete open net to put that ball into. I don't know what happened there on defense. Well, it, it seemed like Sarah was getting boosts. No one else was on screen, so it was an open net. Probably poor rotations. I know Kettering has been trying to get aggressive with their menacing four checks, you know, bump the defensive out of position, but ultimately they had an empty net. They scored it. That's what they should do. Now Vinny was looking for Haxer there, but Haxer came in a little bit shallow and couldn't quite find the connection that he needed. Double commit there on the defense, but it is going to be Ida Sheik with a chance to clear it. This one's going to be high off the backboard. Looking for the double touch, doesn't find it as Vinny breaks that one up on the backboard. Oh, just ASP gave him that one up. Instead to be a little bit further to the right on that ball. Instead, Haxer, a chance to shoot. It's a soft roller, so ASP will be able to make the save. And now a 3v3. Three go the other way as Haxer rejoins the fray and he'll be back. Good stoppage early though. By Fusion didn't let that counterattack get any kind of momentum behind it. Now immediately, Kettering's found themselves a clear with 90 seconds left. We're still tied. A bit surprising considering that a 5-0 that we saw in game one, but just as I say it, Kettering scores. Yes, and this is universal gaming. Just not having proper rotations or communications in the corner because you saw the team block, we'll call it, on the attempt to clear, and then the third man was on the near post as well. So as soon as that ball popped into the center field there, it was just easy shut, and now it's Ida Sheik with the chance of his own, but ooh, despite the challenge, it goes just over the crossbar, and that was a dangerous look from Universal Gaming. Oh, and comes Vinny, a double, popping it off the back wall for Hacks, or he makes no contact. The chick, same cannot be said for them. So clearance found by Universal Gaming. Just ASP trying to use that back wall. 
defense intact in that regard though all dangerous across the blue box ball in for Haxer again Ooh. no contact made on a great shooting opportunity if Universal Gaming finds a way back in this game we're looking at those kinds of looks that Haxer's gotten but couldn't put away Ooh, and that one again off the underside of the crossbar both teams have a fourth man on the field right now and while it's a stationary man it is definitely carrying their weight so 40 seconds left on clock Universal Gaming has momentum right now. They have the offensive possession, but it is going to get broken up by Haxer. High over to Vinny. Vinny off the corner. Doesn't quite get the read right, but he's getting the clear. And that ball is picked up by Universal Gaming. Going back the other way, but Fusion swipes that in the center field. And it looks like Kettering wants to score in these final seconds as well. Can't blame him. You put your foot on the gas pedal. You're only going to go forward. and. 15 seconds left. The foot is certainly on the gas pedal for Kettering. Vinny trying something fancy there on the side wall. Fusion had the ball coughed up into his lap and he has to do with it. 3-1 Kettering. It's looking like a 2-0 series lead. Yep, just ASP gave that one away. And Fusion, it's straightforward. It's nice and easy goal for him there. And once again, proving his nameplate is a lie. He did not whiff that one. It wasn't tactical either. So with that said, nine seconds, impossible now oh. for Universal to come out of it. So Kettering and Uni pick up the game two win as well. I wanted to see that final double from Fusion. Sadly, he was not able to grant it. Stupid ground. Who put that ground there anyway? But I, I, I digress. 13 shots again. It's 13 to 5. A serious difference between Universal Gaming and Kettering in the shooting stat column. And again, that has to change. It started out well for Universal. They got their first goal. They had a lead. They were putting pressure on. They just couldn't hold it throughout all of Game 2. And I guess in Game 3, that's honestly the biggest key. I agree with you there. In game three, it will be continuing the momentum. Now, Kettering did have more shots on net in game two, but they scored less. So Universal Gaming, they are making strides. They are getting a little bit better on defense, but they're still making mistakes. They're still double committing or crowding in the corners too much. So I would like to see them focus on their rotation and spacing from one another and play the field because we see Kettering University they are passing. They are playing the entire pitch. So, with two games down, it's on Universal Gaming to keep making the changes needed. And it is. I had a chicken. Attempted flip reset. Use it as a fake to grab some corner boost. I don't mind that play, but follow up not good enough. And now Haxer has an open net. And Kettering sure has been good at putting in open nets. 1 0, 21 seconds in. Not much more to say off of that. Haxler, he wasn't hacking anything there because that was an open net. No defenders, no firewalls to make it through. It was about as easy as you can get when you're feeling it. And Kettering, they definitely seem to be feeling it because they're on a rampage at this point. Oh, oh now, no. Vinny, Vinny, how could you do it to that? How could, how could you do it to him like that? Well, I guess the defense recovered, so. Didn't do it to him hard enough to put in a second. Instead, Ida Chick and Sora, the dynamic duo down the pitch, turning an equalizer. Yeah, that was definitely a nice shot by Ida Chick. Put it into that top corner there. Just out of reach of the defender. And with that said, it's a tight game. Now, this is the first time they have come back from a deficit. So hopefully they can maintain the pace and maintain their parity with Kettering University. And with that, Sora has a shot on net. They are being aggressive right off the kickoff. Glad to see Sora putting in offensive numbers, putting in the work. Idachik has their shot blocked the last second, but I was watching Sora last game and they were not having a good go of it. A lot of dive-ins for challenges they weren't going to get to and just misreads in general, double commits with their teammates. So the fact that they're involved, putting productivity on the field here on Aquadome, that's good news for me. And it's good news for Universal Gaming, but Bad news, Fusion has a flip off the ceiling, some boost, a shot, a teammate, but there were two defenders on the goal line to make the save and it will stay all leveled up. A 
think with a bit more boost there, Fusion definitely makes that play work because he's a little bit short and had to rush it. So if he kept that ball a little bit higher, probably would have gone in because that does seem to be the weak spot for Universal Gaming is that they're not playing in the air that much. They're not going for the high octane plays. They're keeping it along the ground for the most part and trying just to advance it up the field. But with that said, Vinny breaks up that play Ooh. and it still gets past the two defenders there waiting at the center field line. SP and Sora have been uh, on different pages of, uh, of probably a different book for a little bit there in the midfield. Isn't punished though. And we're still going back and forth. All tied up. Vinny trying to change that center ball. Haxer, great recovery after initial miss jump. And that'll be the lead for Kettering. Yeah, you nailed it right there. Vinny over to Haxer. Haxer with a wide open net once more because he was in front of all the defenders there. There is no one back to stop him or change him, which means that Universal Gaming, their rotations are not what they need to be. If they're getting beat consistently by the offense, then their positioning needs to be worked on right now. Should that midfield, the center third is where the positioning of Universal falls apart. They get too clumped up. Everyone seems to want to go for the ball or play the read when you've got to spread that out. It's the key to rotations is different men in different positions. and. That's not what's happening right now. It's working sometimes. They're able to penetrate the center line and get some offense on the board, but overall, a lot more damage being done than good. They need to get the ball out of the center third immediately or fix those mistakes. And right now, it's looking like the uh, the ladder is going to be a bit more important going forward, but Cyro Stims, it's still a 2-1 game. They're keeping it close to the very least. Yes, and close is the name of the game so far because Universal, they've kept the ball out of their net, but they are giving way too many opportunities over to Kettering. And as I say that, Fusion scores his second. Yeah, mm. his So, Fusion has scored a lot this game. Yeah, <laughs> Fusion has had in total. a lot of looks in this series. That one, I, I, what I was just talking about, the miscommunication, it wasn't exactly in the center third, but it was, it was close enough to it to where I'm going to um, make it an honorary uh, case to my point. And... Well, 3-1 Kettering, it speaks for itself at this point. Insurance this late. We've seen Universal come back from a one-goal deficit in this series, but we've not seen them come back from a, a two-goal deficit just yet. Perhaps this is the time to, to make some history in this for fun best of seven. I think if Adashik had a power shot there, he may have been able to sneak it past the defenders, who are both rotating for a corner boost. But uh, it was a little bit of a weak shot, so the defenders managed to get back in time, and now Adashik up in the air. He's going to put it right on Vinny's hood, but wins that challenge as well. It's a bit of a waterfall the back four picked up and sent clear as well. And another bit of a double commit there between Sora and just ASP. Double commits still rampant. They need to be fixed soon. 60 seconds before Universal Gaming will have to reverse sweep. And a best of seven. Always a story here at GG Leagues where it's always best of sevens. Ooh. And, well... Vinny may have just put in the uh, final goal that was necessary to make it three in under a minute. That is a tough comeback to make. He just robbed just ASP there too because just was back for it. Almost had it, but picking up that corner boost provided the nitrous that Vinny needed to score that one. And with that fourth goal, I think this series, or at least game, is safely in the hands of Kettering with a win here. The series so far would be safely in their hands as well. And they're looking to make it a quick sweep. And I don't blame them. They've looked well all series. Whoa, Fusion. Oh. No more to add to their series total. Perhaps Vinny, though. A real look here. Oh, just ASP. Nice block on the back line. I don't think it'll matter too much, but you don't want to give anything more to Kettering. Playing for pride at this point in game three. Maybe we'll see a quick transition here. Just ASP has some space. Oh, but Vinny dodges the demo and is still able to get a touch on that ball. Nicely done. Kettering is still playing just as hard now at the end of game three as they have been all series long. Yes, and as you mentioned, it's for pride, but this is ultimately a four fun series. So Kettering really just getting some quality practice in right now is Universal Gaming. They had a look there with the final few seconds and you could see how close the ball was there, but it will be Kettering University winning game three with a score of four to one, but fewer shots than they've had in the previous two games. It's funny though, they, they had four fewer in the last game, but they had two more goals. So 
uh, efficiency upped here. I guess Kettering just kind of doing right now what it takes to win, what it takes to beat Universal Gaming. And that's capitalizing on mistakes made in the center third, in the back third for, for the boys in blue, and, and then doing what they do quite well, and that's create their own chances. And that is a, a deadly combo for a team. Yes, Kettering, they've looked good throughout this entire series. That It's hard to mm. point out where they could improve upon because they've been doing well throughout. Though their defense feels a little bit spotty at times just because when Universal does get an opportunity, it's a pretty glaring opportunity because we saw with some of those deep shots that the score could be drastically different if they weren't hitting the crossbar. That's what this series has come down to. Ultimately, how many times have you hit the crossbar? And Kettering, they've hit the crossbar fewer times than Universal Gaming. They've also had a lot more shots than Universal Gaming. I think in tandem with the, the crossbar point, it's just getting more pressure. I mean, Universal Gaming is still struggling all the way now. And, and well, we haven't quite hit game four yet, but I assume at least for the first parts, it'll continue to, uh, to be a problem for them. And that's winning the ball outright and putting pressure on. They've had a total of 13 shots in this series across three games. And that's how many Kettering had in game two. Yeah, there's no doubting that Kettering has been the offensive powerhouse in this series so far. And the, it's evident in the scoreline. While the scoreline right now is 0-0, the series scoreline is 3-0 match point for Kettering University. And they, they have the brooms out. You know, you can see it attached to the wheels, attached to the grill. And with the first goal of the game taking the lead, that sweep is becoming one step closer to reality. Speaking of brooms, Vinny was on cleanup duty on the, the back line of Universal Gaming, swept up Sora and stuck him way too far down the pitch to recover and make a save. So nicely done by the front man of Kettering University. Vinny has been a standout player in my eyes throughout this series. Just not just scoring goals, but also setting up his teammates to score goals. Here, though, attacks are infusion Ooh. doing the work, but that post makes the ultimate save, or I guess the, the penultimate save as Fusion puts home the, uh, the second chance opportunity. Yes, penultimate save there, but Fusion, great follow-up play there. Just read the ball correctly, came out around, and just slaughter that one back into the net an easy cleanup goal for him kettering now up to nothing universal gaming well they definitely have their work cut out for them because they only need to reverse sweep and come back in this at the same time i'm sure they can do it oh. with a goal like that they definitely can adashi definitely making a statement play i'll say adashi my word a simple dribble and pop at the end but made it look so nice i mean the defense was up to challenge that and he still got over them so a response from universal gaming they're, they're keeping things manageable here in game four the one goal deficit lots of time to stage a comeback maybe that's what catalyzes this team's offense i mean they've, they've struggled to find a catalyst in this series i, I think if there's any play that's going to be it it's that one I would agree with you there. If that was the play that gets Universal Gaming into this series, that would be absolutely fantastic. But it is still an uphill battle for the entirety series. And as I say that, Ida Sheik is just kind of chilling in net right now. Uh-oh. Okay, bud. Oh, he does make a save there while he's at it. So he storms out of the net, but really the ball just ends up on the other side of the pitch. It's the old AFK trick. It's been used a million times throughout esports history, and uh, I just she made, um, made it work there. So we'll keep it uh, two to one, but in comes Vinny, and this is not good. Flip reset, unused if found. Still two one. Kettering really starting to put the heat on. Yeah, it's Vinny chasing this one off the backboard, pinching it down to the side for Haxer. Haxer off the corner. It's broken up there by Adishik. Just a little bit, disrupting the momentum. And now Universal Gaming trying to come out of that corner. But Haxer, he has their taillights in sight and getting that demo. And now it's Vinny going for the double touch. Not found. Fusion off the back wall as well. Haxer, no shot. All right, Kettering. That's a missed opportunity right there to make it 3-1. to one. They have all the, uh, the possession in the world, that pre-flip unsuccessful fusion not on net all right so it's just a uh, ring around the rosy right now with the, the rosy being the universal gaming net perhaps finally they'll enter not quite Ooh. clear how does she i don't think there's any defenders back it's going to be close oh. oh he hits the post 
but this is a follow-up shot and oh both defenders are there in net with Haxer getting the same credit now as well but Universal Gaming have an excellent look of the net there Haxer with a bit of a weak shot on net but a double commit there I think that one should have been left for Adachi but either way that's been the story of the night for Universal Gaming double commits and poor details yeah, there's just not enough trust on universal side. Double commits, even when there's a player already known to be in the area, someone else creeps up and, and hits the ball or gets confused and throws themselves out of position. It's honestly the biggest difference, I, I think, between these two teams is the, the coordination and then the cohesion. That's where Kettering has succeeded and Universal Gaming has failed. And if that changes when we've got a different series on our hands, maybe not. But all I know is that Kettering still has the ball like a minute and a half later from the first time we mentioned it. And they are showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. Well, they're going to have to stop in about 80 seconds anyways. So that's when the clock <laughs> hits zero. So they have that one goal lead. It's not the safest of leads, but it doesn't matter whether you win by an inch or a mile, one goal or ten. A win is a win. And so we're down to the last 60 seconds. Universal Gaming haven't having any great pressure lately. And now Haxer with a shot off, just off the backboard but it is going to be cleared wide there. Maybe Sora can do something here on zero boost. Flips underneath the ball and now Fusion, an open net to shoot on. And he'll shoot from the center line. Three to one. Kettering's done well in these close situations where Universal Gaming makes it an interesting game. And then they shut it out in the final minute. And just ASP has left the building. It sometimes happens like that, but Fusion, he read the play right, had space to work with and made it work. So, 47 seconds left on the clock. We're probably gonna say that this series is in the books now that they're just gonna let the clock run down. So, so yeah, that, that's exactly what they're doing, which means, Mr. Beppe, there's a point I wanted to talk about earlier that I didn't quite, quite get to. Go ahead. Have you ever seen a baby actually take a step? It's not, um... it's not timid. It may be clumsy, it may be small, but it is a confident stride forward. They don't care if they fall, if they misstep, they will get back up and take another step. And so when you say a team needs to take baby steps, that is an accurate metaphor because they need to be confident. They need to not be afraid to fall and move forward. So too often we see teams start being timid in their play, not wanting to make mistakes instead of going for it and trying to improve, they claw back. And I feel that's a little bit what happened here with the Universal Gaming, was that they were taking timid steps and taking an actual baby step. That was surprisingly profound from how it started, Syro. I, I completely agree with you right there, and I'm going to unabashedly steal that for the next time I give a speech to, to people. But uh, you're right. I, we needed to see more confidence out of Universal Gaming, and unfortunately, we did not. Kettering, the complete opposite. I mean, it's plays like this. We saw this throughout the series with pre-jumps, with, with air dribbles. They were the epitome of confidence, and... They've put in their six. I'm a little angry at them because I already written down three to one in my notes in pen, so now I gotta fight over that, but oh well. Yes, I'm gonna say that Vinny should have gotten an assist credit there because he bumped Fusion back into the ball, which gave the angle for Fusion to get the goal. But unfortunately, because it was a team bump, Vinny doesn't get an assist on that sixth goal. But that was a great team pinch there from Fusion doing a bit of a turtle slide towards the net. Well, that's the end of the series, ladies and gents. I appreciate you watching this for fun, best of seven, as we will remind latecomers this series that Kettering um, was the winner of this series by forfeits. Um, teams couldn't get uh, their full rosters in order. It was Universal Gaming. I'm, that, that couldn't get it. So 2-0 and now, Kettering, and 1-1 uh, one and one Universal Gaming. But even with the four fun series, Kettering looked to be a pretty good team that I think is very much deserving of a 2-0 status. Yeah, there's not much to say other than they were deserving. They played yep. the series well. Their fundamentals were strong and their offensive pressure was nearly unchecked, which was great to see. Also a little scary because you never want to give a team that much offensive leeway. Mm. It is what it is, though. So I'm looking forward to when Kettering is actually challenged on the pitch to see how they adapt and especially how they play from behind, because while... I think it was game two, Universal Gaming scored their first goal. I wouldn't say that was much of a lead with how quickly Kettering 
back and dominated the rest of the series. Yep, I'm with you there. Kettering, very good team. I think we'll leave you with that tonight. Thank you so much for joining us here for GG Leagues, Elite Leagues, Rocket League. A lot of leagues in, in that name, but we had a fun time. Hope you did as well. Same time, same place next Tuesday. We'll see you then.